Hey everyone, welcome back. We are on a road trip, a romantic getaway, if you will. We have decided for Valentine's Day to go to sort of a mountain city, a mountain region called Bolzano. It's in the very north of Italy, almost crossing to Austria. So yeah, this is getting very European, very fast. We have never been to those parts of Italy yet. Everybody says it's beautiful, very alpine, very idyllic. So I'll take you guys with me. Hopefully you won't feel like a third wheel. I would like to apologize in advance for my weird wardrobe this little trip because I actually packed on a bit of a rush. I last night was just editing like a crazy woman to try and put out the video that should go live tomorrow, which for you will have been last week. If I've managed to finally edit it, I will link it here. If not, I will be pointing at an empty space on the screen. Who knows? Only time will tell. have arrived everyone this is one of the most charming cities I've ever been to I know Italy has just amazing beautiful places but I have a soft spot for these winter time sort of alpine in the mountain cities they're just so far away from what I grew up with and they have this slow living charm and serenity that is very drastically different from Milan and makes it extremely special it just puts me in a good mood the fresh mountain air you're just surrounded by a very specific type of architecture very much like northern Europe very different from more Mediterranean southern Italy it, you just feel transported to a place you only see in the sound of music and then you get to a place like this and kind of similar. So we're just going to walk around. We passed through a bunch of very cute places. There is this sort of market where they sell a bunch of local food and local veggies. So if you're coming here and you want to get a little taste, I think that is a great place to start. And we went to a monastery, which ended up being, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful churches I have ever seen. Very emotional, very beautiful. I think it's the Franciscan monastery. And now we're just walking around and then we're going to grab some lunch. But I did see an oyster place coming here and we might get a little sneaky oyster before lunch if I can manage to convince my husband. I'll take you guys with me because I am very, very excited now. Well, you guys, I am totally in love with this place. It's so worth it to come here and get to know a different part of Italy. I think that, again, everybody who comes here thinks of Tuscany, thinks of the beautiful beaches, maybe Venice, but the northern alpine mountainous region is always kind of thought as non-Italian for some reason and I get it because it's even it even considers itself independent from Italy in a way but it's so magical everything I love for a little road trip like this because you have gorgeous setting you have beautiful surroundings all of the time 
it's a tinier city so it's easy to walk around the food is amazing we went to this place for lunch called vogel i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right here there is a lot of austrian influence so you will find a lot of things in german and i just had this marvelous dish i don't want to shock anyone but here it is quite normal to have a like wild game and stuff like that so i had this amazing deer with blueberry sauce and polenta it was freaking divine and my husband had the wiener schnitzel which is again very austrian very traditional from this region but now that we have filled our bellies we're going to go out maybe visit the local castle because if you know anything about european cities you know that most of them have castles but before we go let me give you a little road tour because that is what people do when they travel and we're staying at a hotel loring which seems to be very traditional from the region so if you're looking for an immersive experience in Bolzano this may be a great option for you you get through the door and here on the left you have the closet part with the wardrobe I really love that the doors are in this kind of leather, pebbled leather I would love to do this in my house, I think it's so chic then here you get a little mini bar, stuff like that. This is what I mean when I tell you that I'm looking kind of poorly dressed in this trip. I wanted something cozy, but I think I went too far. So I'm wearing a, a little knit that I got from Oisho a thousand years ago, some denim from Gap, and my little snow boots from Lacoste. I really need a makeover. Maybe that'll happen for dinner. Stay tuned. Then going to the right, you get the bathroom all in a lot of marble. Really nice. You get the sink, the bath, which I will be enjoying a little bit later. Big mirrors on both sides, which for us girls is an essential. Then you go into the room and you have a little desk, a little TV, have a little coffee slash tea section. Beautiful bed, I love this bed. I love like the green with the white in a very subdued yet ultra elegant. I don't know why, but this color combination to me is very much like mountain, alpine, kind of gives me that vibe. And then we have a really sweet view with a bit of the mountain. And this is it, everyone. Let's try and get less crazy hair. There you go. I will now go meet my husband in the lobby because he's waiting for me to film the video. And we'll see each other at the castle. Oh, it was closed. We can't go to the castle. Yeah, the castle was closed. I was very excited. Why would they close on a Saturday? It's the best touristy day. People would totally pay to see it. Things don't make sense here in Italy. But we did manage to find a very nice alternative, I have to say. We came all the way up the mountain to find this little church. It's the Mary Magdalene Church. And in front of it, you will see a gorgeous vineyard. And if you turn around, you get a panoramic vista of the hills of Bolzano. Can you even see the Alps right there with the snow? It just seems like a painting. It's always surreal to me. I'll never get used to it. That was a nice little cultural pit stop. But now let's get back to what we're here to do, which is eat dessert eat a lot of Austrian dessert. I have to retract something. My husband told me that I have been saying that things are Austrian or Alpine for this whole video. So hopefully with a little bit of sweets, with some sugar in my blood, I can think of some other synonyms. And I promise that I will not say Austria again on this vlog. Okay, this is an Austria and what is it? And of course I just smashed my fork in there without even thinking about the shot. 
we are back from our gastronomic expedition that ended up being because after dessert we found the store that sells regional products a lot of cold cuts regional cheeses wine oil sauces preserves we did some damage there and then we went to lush got ourselves some bath bombs because when you have a bath at your disposal you are absolutely obligated to use it so that's what i'm gonna do right now then we have some reservations at a very fancy restaurant for valentine's day i will deal with the terrible messiness that is my face right now i will do something with my hair i will wear something that is a little bit more fashionable a little bit more elegant so we will turn the style session of this video around and I'll try and show it to you but I also want to get some alone time with the husband so I'll try to be sneaky I'll try to be brief without excluding you see you at dinner I wish this was a little bit more aesthetically pleasing but you know I wanted the one with the salt to get the pain out of my leg so pretend this is beautiful and very very chic Green water isn't very chic, is it? If this is not a transformation, then I don't know what is. We are going out to dinner. I have put on some makeup, have changed my clothes, and I'm ready to go out. So I'm basically wearing something that is very comfy, very simple, in line with the environment I'm in. I don't want to be ultra, ultra sophisticated if everybody's casual. So I went for my good old H&M sweater. It's a little cardigan that has these beautiful rhinestone buttons, which makes it a little bit more celebratory, a little bit more appropriate for a Valentine's Day dinner. Then I have a little intimacy layer underneath that has a little bit of lace. I've talked about this before. I really like wearing this type of shirt underneath when I have a V-neck because if it shows through, it's not just a piece of t-shirt, it has some detail, it's a little bit more delicate. Then for my bottoms, I am wearing these sort of palazzo pants in this ivory white that have drawstrings. I try to hide them, but they always come out. Maybe I'll just do this and pretend it's intentional. It's not my favorite pair of pants, but I didn't want anything that was too tight to the body. And I do like the way that they look with these little boots that are brown. So given that I am wearing things in a more cream, a little bit warmer palette, I wanted something that wasn't black on my feet. And these have a very reasonable heel. So if I have to walk to the restaurant, I'm not going to be limping on the way there. Then for accessories, I also have my little Isabel Bernard bag. This has been such a great purchase, you guys. If you don't know about this brand, if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. I wore it all day long with the sort of longer strap crossbody and it kind of elevated a very casual look. But in this case, since I'm going out, I'm just taking it with a top handle. This way I can put it in the crook of my arm i can carry it with my hands and the size is perfect because it doesn't look too casual it's just right and goes with the boots then i am wearing this sort of plated gold necklace that again subdued but still festive and i'm also wearing some earrings these are great they're kind of medallion with a bit of a hammered finish great to add texture a big earring like this will make you look instantly more chic even if you're wearing something that is a little bit more easygoing and downplaying the elegance factor a little bit i think this is a great little comfy yet put together look for a nice valentine's day dinner <laughs>
Hey everyone, good morning. Oh my God, I don't wanna leave. What do I do? Should I hide somewhere? Maybe they won't notice if I stay here in the hotel. I love this place. It's so serene, beautiful lighting everywhere. So relaxing. The city, yesterday we went to dinner and the city was completely empty. There was no one. We thought, oh, okay, everything's going to be just super chill, empty. And then we got to the restaurant, it was packed. Went back to the hotel because we wanted to get a drink at the bar, like really just some alone time, very private, but it was filled with people. So I guess the thing here is in the evening, you don't go out, you stay in, but you stay in a bar. So we just took a walk around just to see it. The bar is beautiful, exactly the type of bar that I love. Traditional, they have a smoking lounge, a fireplace, live piano music, amazing drinks. I could see the types of spirits they were using, very high quality. So when we come back, hopefully very soon, I'll have my favorite martini. But today we are going on part two of our adventure because we are going to the Alps, so very close to the snowy mountains. We are not going skiing or anything, but I just feel like this winter I didn't get to see snow. I know I'm kind of spoiled in that way because for the last few winters in Milan it did snow. It was very magical actually. So I, I feel like I need a little bit of snow this winter to feel like the year has concluded. Let me show you what I'm wearing and then we're gonna hit the road. I'm gonna miss having a nice mirror like this, a full length nice mirror. I am wearing this new top that I got yesterday. I didn't show it to you. We went to this wool shop. Here you will find a bunch of like cashmere, beautiful wool, cashmere blends. So we went to the store and they were actually having this amazing sale, which is something that I always talk about. If you're going to buy cashmere, if you're going to buy really high quality fabrics, wait for the sale season and get yourself something at a lower price. This was 50% off. I paid 40 euros on it. You can't really see. Wait, let me go to better lighting. There you go. You see it's kind of a navy blue. Beautiful with a mock neck. It's alpaca wool, so very cozy, very warm. You can see that it is beautifully made. I have to say that in this room with the heating, I am feeling a little bit flustered, but I'm sure that when I go outside, it'll be the perfect thing to be wearing. And then to keep things interesting, a little bit better dressed than yesterday, I'm wearing a scarf that I just threw over my shoulders like this. It has a beautiful print with like the chains, the check. Then I'm wearing some black pants, very simple, very casual. These are elasticated which I'll be needing later for lunch. Then for my feet, yesterday I was wearing my little Lacoste snow boots, but my feet were actually quite warm. So today I'm going to wear my black leather loafers and I'm keeping my boots in the back seat. So if I get cold, I can put them on, but I just hate having warm feet. I'm also wearing some earrings. These are from Mango, still available if you wanna get it. I think I can link them down below. I love how they just light up the face, give a little bit of glam to a very basic look without being too much. And then I'm going to throw on my heavier coat. This I got from Intrend last year, I think. And it is double faced, so if you want to wear the black and white print, you can. But inside, it is this sort of camel tan color, which is great with warmer tones. So you kind of get two coats in one. I only brought this one, which for like a weekend trip, I think is just perfect. So you're not just wasting space of your luggage with a bunch of coats. You get one that is practical. There you go. This is what it looks like. See? It's kind of puffy, but it gives warmth. Still stylish with the print. So now I'm all bundled up and ready to hit the road. That was a little bit of a test to the stomach. I'm a little nauseated, but not enough to not have lunch. We just stopped by 
a tiny little city in the mountain to go to a restaurant that apparently is quite delicious again in the middle of nowhere but for good food i will go to the ends of the earth this is supposed to be the place there is no one here i called and made a reservation 10 minutes ago hopefully i'm in the right place Well, we came, we conquered, we saw snow, so now we can go home. It was short, but very, very sweet. I totally advise any of you, if you're ever in Milan and you don't know what to do with your time, or maybe you have already seen all of Italy and you want to see something new, Bolzano is phenomenal, absolutely unforgettable easy to walk around a lot of things to see so charming people are really nice food is amazing so yeah can't wait to be back and if any of you ever come here or if you have been here let us know down in the comments below if you have any tips on things to do in the italian alps because i think i am a new aficionado and i want to know them all hopefully you guys enjoy this and we'll see each other again next time bye bye